heads up 20 up. Today is according to my iPod the 25th of October. I still don't know days of the week. I don't know if we like have a posting schedule anymore. So I'm just going to make a video and post it whenever I get a chance to. Because that seems like it'd be the best way to go about things. So let's get started. Lucy, you said you signed up for NaNoWriMo and that you were going to attempt this year. And I just want to say good luck. I had signed up a couple years ago. I've attempted it twice. My first attempt, I got to about 7,000 words before I gave up on it. <laughs> and my second year, last year, I did a lot better and I got to about 25,000 words before I just stopped. I wasn't actually going to plan on doing NaNoWriMo this year because I don't really have any good stories in my head. I could pick up where I left off on um, one of my other two stories, but if you're going to attempt, best of luck. It's going to be tough. You had also asked about Halloween and what we are going to be for Halloween, and I have a sad story about Halloween and why I don't celebrate it anymore. It was 10th grade, I believe, and the Nintendo Wii was about to come out. And my friend and I both wanted to get dressed up for Halloween, and we had no ideas on what to do for it. And so, literally, the night before, Halloween, um, I had the greatest idea. I'll just take two big boxes and I'll paint them white and I'll make us the Nintendo Wii. One of us will be the Wii console and the other will be the Wii mode. And he was like, yes, that is perfect. Let's do it. So it was about six o'clock at night. I had to go to bed at nine. So in three hours, I crafted two boxes into a Wii mode and a Wii console with the buttons and everything. And I have a picture of it still, so I'm going to post that so you can see what it looked like at the end. Um, yeah, in three hours I constructed this and I was extremely excited for it. The only thing that was missing was I didn't have any blue tape for the uh, blue CD insert bar thing, because it glows blue when you put the CD in, and I just needed some blue tape for that, and my friend said he had it, so I went to bed really happy that he was going to bring the blue tape, and that we were going to go as the Nintendo Wii, and it was going to be one of the greatest costumes in school. I wake up early, get ready, at about 7 o'clock, just before he's supposed to get on his bus, I call him up just to make sure that he's bringing the tape, and that he's still on board for it, and he says, yeah, I've got the tape, but... I'm not going to go in the costume with you. And I was devastated. I was really devastated. My best friend was telling me he didn't want to go in this costume that I spent a few hours working on. And it really hurt. Really hurt. We, I hung up the phone, started crying. I laid down on my bed. And I really, really didn't want to go to school at that point. And so my mom forced me to get up and go to school. And I was just so, so mad at him for it. And it really hurt. And ever since then, I have been unable to celebrate Halloween. Okay, um, Rima, you asked about the VidCon ticket. It does not include the hotel the hotel is separate, but one thing that I'm hoping to do is find a few people to share a room with so we can all split the cost of the room. We can all share the room, and it would cost each person a little bit less than it would have if you got the room by yourself, just you and the room. So hopefully I can find some people to room with me. If you're interested, we'll share a room, TJ. We could share a room too. It would be awesome. It would save us some money. So that's always something to consider. And you also suggested watching BBC America in the afternoons. And I used to be a TV junkie. I used to switch between BBC America and the Game Show Network. I feel like I've said this before, but I used to watch 
TV constantly, and BBC America was one of the two channels I always switched between. So, Gordon Ramsay became one of my favorite people on BBC America really quickly, because he was funny, he's insulting, he's really mean, and I kind of hate him sometimes. <laughs> but it's... he's entertaining, that's the thing. He is entertaining. So... I used to watch his shows a lot, all the time. And, yeah, BBC America is a great channel. TJ, I don't know how last week we managed to upload our videos at literally the exact same time, but we did. And it was weird. So hopefully that doesn't happen again this week. About the um, live show you said you did with Skits for Kicks, I wouldn't have been able to be a part of that anyway. I don't own a webcam that works with my computer. So, unless they had, like, an, I, an iPod app to let me do it, to join it, I wouldn't have been able to do it, so I didn't really miss out anyway, <laughs> I guess. Well, I still missed out on it, but even if I was informed about it, I wouldn't have had the means to be a part of it. The reason I haven't been doing skits for kicks was mostly the same reason I hadn't been doing this. I was going through a slump. I couldn't find the time or the energy to get up and make a video. And my group of friends that banded together to make a video crew sort of completely fell apart in a really short amount of time. So um, I'm still trying to figure out how to get back into skits for kicks. I'm probably not going to start another film group because that always seems to not work out. So, I'm still trying to work it out. I'll be back soon, I swear. I promise. Lastly, TJ, um, back in August, for doing such a good job, my boss gave me uh, two free tickets to Six Flags New England, and I haven't used them yet. And this weekend is the very last weekend that they're going to be open, so... I kind of sort of have to go this weekend to use these, so um, I don't have like set down details on what's going to happen just yet, but I'm going to get my work schedule for next week tonight most likely. If not, I'll get it tomorrow, but I typically have Sundays off, so we would have to go on Sunday, and I know this is like really short notice, and Planning this trip is going to be really difficult for me. But when I do get this all worked out, would you be interested in going to Six Flags with me? And possibly one of my friends, because I probably wouldn't survive driving home after that. Let me know if you'd like to go, if you would be available to go. It'd be a great chance for us to meet in person for the first time. And it's free. But I've only got two, so if I do bring another friend, it's going to be the three of us. So I figured all three of us could chip in for the price of one ticket, so we're all getting in at an extremely discounted rate, you know? Once I get everything worked out, I will let you know what's going on. And it's going to be like over the next two days that I'm planning this, because it's this weekend. Most likely it's going to be Sunday, though. <laughs> That signal means I should probably turn this off because I've been talking for a really long time. So, uh, I don't know how to say goodbye. Bye. DFTBI. Wee.